Hi guys, Adam here with Adam L Photography and uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about the metering modes on your camera, just a basic uh, uh, learning how to shoot DSLRs. Um, I'm here today with uh, my lovely dog Reef. Say hello Reef. Happy dog. She loves getting out in the sun. We've uh, been working a lot indoors lately so she hasn't had as much time outdoors as she would like. So today she's come down and joined me for this shoot. Um, now in my hand here I've got the uh, the Nikon D750 uh, body with the, uh, the Tamron 150 to 600 mil on there. Um, and I'm going to be talking a little bit about how those, uh, how that pairing works in another video shortly, which I'll post a link to just over here. Uh, that's just a response to a question I've been asked a couple of times now, so I thought I'd post a video about that. But uh, today we're talking about the metering modes. So metering modes basically is uh, how your camera determines what the exposure should be based on the scene that you're trying to shoot. And the, the cameras offer you a few different ways to meter this, to choose how you want to meter the light in that situation. Now you've got matrix metering mode, which is, um, matrix metering mode basically takes a look at the highlights, the low, and sort of does a general balancing to get you sort of the best exposure. This is more what you'd see with just your, your point and shoot cameras. You know? um, it's basically more of an automated uh, metering function, just the, the basic average of the whole scene kind of matted, matted out, so you can get a nice even exposure. Uh, the next setting on the dial you might come across is it's like a little spot. It's got a couple of little um, parentheses around it, uh, brackets around it. And uh, that's basically what they call spot metering, but the general area around the spot. Now what that is is the, uh, the meter will focus where, you, where your focus point is in your frame. So if you're focusing on uh, somebody's face in your frame, it will try to meter for their face. And the general area just around that, around that person's face. So it's going to give you... Um, uh, a slightly more averaged out version of a spot focus which we'll talk about next so it gives you a focus uh, sorry your focus your metering on um, on that general area that you're focusing on now the next one on the list is spot focus and this is basically just looks like a dot you off you off mate reef yeah reef's going for a little wonder but um, basically the the final so the spot metering is uh, it's going to just give you the the exposure information for your camera right <laughs> Reef, you gonna get out of the frame, mate? <laughs> Reef, oida, come on, come here. That's it. Show your butt to the world. Come on. Come here. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so um, spot metering is gonna give you um, basically the exposure information for just that that area where you're focusing on that that one um, focus point with inside your frame. So this is going, if you're going to be focusing on someone's face for example, if they've got darker hair it's going to give you um, a darker reading than it is if someone has got like light or fair hair. So this is something that is a really really fine exposure reading for your image. Now how you would use that for example, um, a lot of times I'm shooting a, uh, a couple walking out of a chapel and they're really backlit, there's a massive window behind them and a dark chapel in front of them. Um, I'm not so worried about if I lose the, the background, I'm not so worried about blowing out the highlights from the window behind them, but I'm very, very concerned with getting the exposure correct on their face. So in this time, I'm going to be using my spot focusing, just so that my spot metering, just so I can assure that my camera is trying to get the best focus right on the subject. So I want them to be completely um, uh, exposed correctly. Uh, so that's where I'd probably use that. Uh, metering, uh, you know, like I say, uh, using matrix metering, get the whole scene great for landscapes and things like that. Um, and then the, the one in the middle is, again, it's the one in the middle. So basically, I'm not sure exactly what they call that, but it's like a spot with the two parentheses around it. It's just going to give you a, somewhere a little bit more in the middle between those two extremes. So that's, uh, that's your basic metering modes. Now to access your metering modes on your newer model cameras, you'll find um, up here on the body of the camera, just behind the shutter release, there's a little button. It's got like a circle with four little squares around it. By depressing that button and working uh, the, uh, the back uh, wheel on your camera, on some of the uh, higher end models, it'll uh, allow you to scroll through those different metering modes. Some of the older cameras, the D700, D300s, the D3Ss, etc., have the metering adjustment switch up here on the head of the, uh, the camera or on the back down here. So you can find that metering mode uh, selection switch wherever it is on your camera and uh, have a play with the different metering modes and just see how it works in different situations and find out which one works best for you. Um, that's, uh, that's my little take on it. Uh, it's really uh, a fundamental thing to understand. It's something that you really want to know how to use on your camera if you want to advance your photography, but um, it's not something that you have to uh, think about in depth at all times. So this is Adam L. Happy shooting.